Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the Authenticate AMD.SYS blue screen error you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and search for device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the display adapter selection in here and then right click on the AMD adapter you have and select update driver. Select where it says browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select a manufacturer specific one unless you only have a generic one in which case you'd have to select that. You can go onto AMD's website and actually download the one that's applicable for your driver if you just take note of the display adapter on your computer. And then sometimes I think AMD even does still offer an automatic tool to download drivers onto your computer that's applicable with your hardware. So I'd recommend taking a look into that. But we're going to go ahead and just proceed with updating our display adapter here. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and see if that resolves the issue. You may also want to go ahead and update the BIOS on your system. So that's something else you want to take a look into specifically for your you know, version of AMD. There might be drivers available. So just go ahead and download directly from their website. And then finally, something else we can try here as well would be just to run a system file checker utility scan. So we're going to do that by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best match. Should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin that scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.